As COVID-19 spreads around the world, so does misinformation about the virus. So how can you tell what's real and what is fake? Here to break it all down for us is Timothy Caulfield, who's been given a grant of nearly $400,000 to do this, to study misinformation during the pandemic. Good morning to you. Good to have you on the show. Good morning. Okay, so what kind of misinformation have you found so far? Oh, my gosh, there's so much misinformation. It really is. It's incredible. There's misinformation about the source. You know, there's hoaxes about whether this is even real. Uh, but what we're really interested in uh, is that misinformation about, about cures, about preventative strategies, about treatments. And again, we're seeing this absolutely everywhere from these really bizarre, crazy stuff like you're supposed to drink bleach, uh, that you're supposed to take essential oils, uh, that even cocaine is supposed to be a treatment, yeah, heard, which is all absurd. Did I hear a combination of like cocaine, amphetamines, and like nicotine? People are believing that that can cure you? Uh, that's right. That's right. In fact, the French government had to issue a warning. Don't do this. And wow. let's issue that warning to Canadians, too. Don't do this. Uh, but look, there's also, you know, misinformation about things like uh, supplements and diets and chiropractic adjustments. Uh, and all that all that noise really matters. Right. It creates this really chaotic information environment. I think it makes it more difficult for people to to know what to do. Yeah, so you, we mentioned some of the more sort of absurd ones um, that people may be buying into, but what about the ones that kind of feel real, like the more realistic uh, in bits of misinformation out there? Yeah, and, and really, th this kind of stuff is embedded, you're seeing on social media constantly. Uh, my favorite example, I think, is the idea that we can boost our immune system. I, I mean, this really is a message that has now permeated the universe. And in reality, you can't. Uh, you really can't boost the immune system, at least in the way that people are saying. In fact, you don't want to boost the immune system. That's anaphylaxis. That's autoimmune diseases. Uh, so we're trying to get a sense of how that, that's being spread and what we can do uh, as individuals, but also as a community, to counter that kind of misinformation. So, Timothy, how am I supposed to tell what's real and fake? Well, look, first of all, set your skeptic meter super high right now, okay? Super, super high. Uh, go to those trusted voices uh, that, that are aggregating, aggregating the scientific information. And that's really important now when there's so much uncertainty and the science is evolving. You know, go to the World Health Organization. Uh, go to the Public Health Agency of Canada. Uh, go to your regional public health uh, authorities. They're actually doing a pretty good job with the, with the evidence. I know it's frustrating because it's changing all the time. But that's really what you need to do. And then, and then consider the source. You know, where did the disinformation come from? And for please, please, pause. Think about it before you share. All right, we'll leave it there. Timothy, thanks so much for your information. We appreciate it this morning. Great, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.